Alright, so today we are building this. This is a new and improved version of this. This is my old style of the go-kart two-speed transmission. This is the manual version and this is the automatic version. This version requires shift linkage to move this back and forth to shift it from high to low, and that's neutral. This doesn't require that. So I'm gonna first show how I built all this and then I'll assemble it and explain how it works.
asking a little too much for this lathe. Take off so much material.
All right, so here's the part of the video where I finally explain what in the world this thing is and how it works. Now, basically, like I said in the beginning, this is a new and improved version of my old style of the two-speed go-kart transmission. The old style is the manual version. This is the automatic version. The old style has that center clutch dog that requires you to physically move it back and forth to shift from high to low. It's a little complicated. It requires you to build shift linkage and all that kind of stuff. It's a little hard to get it lined up perfectly to shift smoothly. So as well as it, it works really well, but it's just a little a pain to set up. This, on the other hand, is a much more compact design and a lot less moving parts. Now, how this works is it has three sprockets on here. This is the input sprocket, and then both of these are the output sprockets. You have your engine over here, your rear axle over here. The engine obviously goes to this sprocket, and then these sprockets go to the rear axle. This is first gear, this is second gear. First gear goes to a big sprocket on the axle. Second gear goes to a small or medium-sized sprocket on the axle. That is what gives you high, low gears, or first and second gears. That's what makes this a two-speed transmission. Now, how this works, how this shifts between first and second is first gear has one-way bearings that can spin freely in one direction, but locks to the axle in the other direction. So the power of the engine goes to this rocket, to the axle. In this direction, the one-way bearings lock, and power goes to this sprocket to first gear of the big sprocket on the axle. Second gear was a lot more tricky. This is able to spin freely in both directions, but at a certain RPM of the axle, that spring-loaded lever on the inside springs out and engages second gear. Now this is tunable. We are going to have to tune this thing once we put it on a vehicle. We're going to have to try and figure out at what RPM we want second gear to engage. Now we can tune that by simply using different... Th the spring that I used on the inside to have the lever spring loaded, I actually used one of these off of a thickness gauge and we can use different thicknesses to give us different spring rates and allow it to shift at different RPMs. Now I definitely can't claim this design as my own. I did not come up with this design. I got the idea of building this by watching a YouTuber. He was showing how he, this RC car that he bought had a three-speed transmission on the inside. Essentially it was very similar to how this is set up. First gear had one-way bearings and the second and third gear had free spinning sprockets that had a lever on the inside that sprung out at a certain RPM engaging that gear. And when I saw it, I really liked that setup and I wanted to see if I could build one to put on a go-kart, so I built this. Anyway, I've been working on this project for I want to say like three months now uh, during the winter time, so I think it's finally time to end this video so I can upload it soon. And uh, as far as, you know, when I'm going to get to building the project I put this thing on, I'm busy with a bunch of other stuff, so it's not going to be for, you know, probably another couple months or something, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, i got to end this video here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.